Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be this zipper face makeup scary Halloween tutorial. I know this look has been done to death on YouTube but I got so many requests to do it. It's unbelievable how many people wanted to see this. So if you are interested in getting this look let's see how we achieve it. First off I'm going to prime my face and then apply any sort of foundation that matches your skin tone. You just want to even out your skin tone and then I'm going to conceal underneath my eyes. I'm going to list all the products in the down bar. There's no point in me showing them in the video because it's all about the zipper more than anything else. So make sure you set your face makeup as well because it's just going to make your skin be a little bit drier so that the zipper will stick down a bit better. So to create the zipper look obviously you need a zipper and you can get this in your local haberdashery shop and then you want to kind of set it down on your face seeing exactly where you want the opening to be. I want the zipper just to start opening right above where my nose is kind of in between my brows and then I want want it obviously going down the sides of my face. So I'm just marking it out with a pencil. To stick it down, I'm taking liquid latex. Eyelash glue is also great at sticking down things like this. Just be very patient with sticking it down because it does take a little bit of time. Along the chubbier parts of my face, I'm taking spirit gum to stick it down because it is a little bit kind of tackier and it is definitely a little bit stronger as an adhesive. Now don't forget guys, I'm a complete beginner at this and this is the first time I've ever done a look like this before. Um, so, you know, I just, I didn't really know exactly what I was doing but I just said I would start off with some tissue paper sticking it down to random places on my face. Again you don't have to be an artist to create this look. All I'm doing is putting some of the liquid latex down, sticking on top of some tissue paper and then going over that tissue paper again with the liquid latex. Picking different parts of my body to stick it down. So like I said you don't have to be professional. This is the first time I've ever done this and I'm a complete noob at doing special effects makeup but you can just give it a try this holiday. Halloween. Why not? Branch out. Try something different. Sticking down this crap paper or tissue paper, all you want to do is put the latex down first and then stick the tissue paper on top. Where the zipper is zipped open, this is going to be like the underneath of your skin naturally. So you want to kind of make it look like there's a lot of tissue and muscle and kind of clotting. I'm taking cotton rounds and I'm just ripping them up. She gives the best texture and kind of like similar to what you would see, I would imagine, if you zipped open your face. And then you want to cover up the tissue paper with concealer. Concealer is much thicker than foundation. Fine does the job amazingly well. So I'm just covering up all the tissue paper and all of the cotton bits. Next you want to go in with a red eyeshadow, I mean we all have one of them, so you just want to go in with any red eyeshadow, this is just a matte red eyeshadow I have from like a really cheap eyeshadow palette I got on eBay years ago. So you're going to need a lot of this shadow, you want it to go all around the whole middle section or the opening part of the zipper. Then I'm taking a matte black shadow and just kind of running along where the opening would be to kind of look like bruising or to make it look a little bit deeper and a little bit of depth and then I'm going to rub it around the rest of this opening area too. It kind of defeats the purpose of concealing earlier on but I just didn't know what way I was going with this look. But you just want to place those red and black eyeshadow underneath the lower lash line and kind of rub it around into the crease just to kind of make you look like more like you're like a demon or dead or something like that. Contacts would make this look completely pop but I just can't wear them. They irritate my eyes so bad. Next you want to take a tweezers. I know this looks really gruesome but I promise it's just the tissue paper that I'm ripping open. I want to rip open these seams to make them look like my skin is sore, agitated, that I've gotten an infection on my skin and stuff like that. So that's what the purpose of the tissue paper was initially. And then I'm going to put the red and black shadow in and all around the wounds as well to kind of make them look irritated, red, deep, like there's a bit of blood. And obviously there isn't a zipper coming out of nowhere on your face so you want to kind of make the tissue paper up at the top kind of a bit red and raised and just continue around all these wounds putting red and black shadow in them to kind of give them a bit of depth a bit of redness and this will act as a base before we put the fake blood on like I said this is just a fun look that you can go crazy with and there's no kind of technique to it I was just really winging the whole look I probably should have practiced it before then you want to go in with some scab blood I bought mine on eBay I've since gotten a better brand but it was fine for this video and I'm just going to put it around all the openings and the wounds and stuff like that to make it look like it's scabby and old blood and then all around the center bit because obviously your face is zipped open there's going to be a lot of gore and guts and blood blah, everything go wild with this scab blood 
because it's scab load it kind of dries like that it doesn't drip or anything like that so I wanted to add a little bit more viscosity to the look so I added in some vampire blood the vampire blood is very runny so I put it in areas that I wanted to kind of drip down Then I'm going in with that red and black shadow and kind of going around the borders of my face just to kind of make it look like my skin's all decayed and old and God knows what I am, zombie zipper thing. And you keep going with that until you're happy and that's pretty much it guys. Just make it as gory and disgusting as you possibly can. And I was actually kind of happy with how it turned out. I would try the tissue paper a little bit thinner on the cheek the next time but all in all it didn't turn out too bad. So I hope you guys enjoyed this look and I will talk to you in my next video then. Bye guys!